Oh, he just makes me laugh every morning, period. I don't have an actual memory of anything in particular, but I just know he cracks me up. Both of y'all do every morning. Oh, Gary's awesome. There's no one favorite memory. I, I love to pick on Gary when I see guys out at live events, and I love to call and message you guys in the morning, but Gary's one of my favorite DJs ever. I'm going to tell you what. When it comes to country music in Shreveport, Bezier City, and the surrounding area, to me, it, it, Gary McCoy is it. it. He is. He always has been. I'm 30, almost 32, and as far as, as long as I can remember, Gary is one of the main DJs I've always listened to in country music. Happy birthday, Gary. No, I must say happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. What's your name? I'm Michael. Good morning, Kiss Country. Something you want to tell Gary McCoy? I'm just happy birthday. Hope you're having a great day. I love Gary to pieces. Not that I'm swinging that direction, and, <laughs> but yeah, I love Gary. Gary's. Gary's, Gary's good people at work or not at work. <laughs> Happy birthday, Goober. Uh-uh. <laughs> hey, I just wanted to say uh, happy birthday to Gary. Oh. And, and I was coming, to, I came across some pictures the other day. We did a Garth Brooks sleepover when he came years ago. <laughs> oh, goodness. And I can't I have a picture of him with my uh, oldest daughter. We had a made sign to raise up. I have a picture of Gary, and I want to try and get it to him. <laughs> Aww. In the younger days. <laughs> Younger days, indeed, right? Yeah, you know yeah. what? This is like the perfect thing for him to leave on his birthday because all I have to do is just go, huh, old guy. Uh, uh, yeah, really? <laughs> okay. Well, happy birthday, Gary. He's just an awesome person. He is just a super, super good person and just want to wish him a happy birthday. But also, uh, can I say a happy birthday on to my dad? You sure can. Today's his birthday, Today's his birthday also. What's his name? Um, Herschel Marcham. Well, happy birthday, Mr. Herschel. We sure do appreciate you. In fact, Jason uh, Stiles called just a minute ago, and it's his birthday, too. <laughs> it's a big uh, old anyway, birthday party up on the Kiss Country. Yes, ma'am. Gary's just an awesome individual. Just love him to death. He is just a great person. Thank you so much. Appreciate the call. Yes, ma'am. Have bye -bye. a great day. Yes, ma'am. Bye-bye. Good morning. You got something you want to share with Gary? I just wanted to say happy birthday, Gary. Oh, he's just going to feel all the love. I'm not going to be able to get him in the studio tomorrow. <laughs> he should feel the love. He should. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he has a great day. Thank you, Mama. Well, yeah, I would like to wish him a happy birthday. Poor old boy raised up in Blanchard <laughs> and uh, had to join the National Guard at the urging of a judge and all that, you know. <laughs> but I hope he has a... Happy birthday for a kid, anyway. No, why would I tell Gary happy birthday? Why wouldn't you want to tell Gary happy birthday? <laughs> I'm just meddling. I know, because you're being crotchety. What you doing, neighbor James? Hey, I was just wondering, I was going to let Gary know that if he needed a place for Colt uh, to stay the night tonight, you know, he's more than welcome. He's already been there this week. But then I got to thinking, his dinner plans are early birds, because, you know, his senior citizen <laughs> <laughs> early. And he'll only be in bed at 545 to 6. So if you sleep after that, the cult wouldn't have to say he could go home back home. <laughs> <laughs> you know, your neighborly love just knows no bounds, does it? No, I was trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. You know, but they eat at 430 on the senior menu. <laughs> And then he'd be home by 5.15, but he usually sleep by 6. So, oh, oh, goodness. Wouldn't have to spend night. oh, I know you love that man like I do. Oh, he's great. If he'd just come cut my grass, I'd be love you. Yes, I do. I want to tell him happy birthday from everyone in Blanchard. Uh-oh. Yes, we all know who Gary McCoy is. He's the old Blanchard boy. So if he moved back to Blanchard, let's just suppose here for a minute. Could he run for mayor and be elected? Oh, definitely. Most definitely. See, because we pick on him. We're like, you're the only person I know who could be simultaneous mayor of Blanchard and Houghton all at the same time. All at the same time. <laughs> Good old country boy. Happy birthday, Gary. We all love you. Yes, ma'am, I do. You bring it on, baby. Oh, yeah. Good morning to you, Bristol. Aw. And I want to wish Gary a happy birthday. I think he's my buddy. He is a good man, isn't he? He's real good. I, I love him to death. Even though every once in a while, I feel as if he might over-exaggerate on the fish he catches. A little bit. Well, fishmen do that. 
got to add to it. I used to fish myself. So. <laughs> you know, I kind of find that a male thing, too. Y'all forget how to measure when it comes to fish. Well, when I catch the minnow, it's at least two foot. <laughs> exactly. Happy birthday, Gary McCoy. Isn't he the best? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I love him like a fat kid loves cake, and I am a fat kid, so I know how much fat <laughs> kids love cake. Chocolate cake with lots of icing on it. Ice cream. Yeah, yeah. and a big old scoop of bluebell on top. Mm -hmm. Okay, I might be going overboard now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, darling. All right, Bruce. Happy, happy birthday, Gary. Are you going away to the Hell and Co. ticket? <laughs> 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 Merry Christmas, too. <laughs> hey, I just wanted to say I've been buddies with Gary for a long time. You know that. Me and Gary go way back. And he is one awesome dude. I look up to him because I could, I, you know, it takes a it takes a good man to raise his grandsons <laughs> and that blonde-headed granddaughter that has, he has with him. I think her name's Julie. 